Hi everyone, welcome back to Gold Fries. In this video, we'll have a look at the ASUS Prime TRX40 Pro S, a board that retails at just about US 450. Over in Malaysia, it's RM2159, which is the most affordable TRX40 motherboard. Now you have seen videos of this motherboard, which is the Pro model. The Pro S is just an updated model. And from what I checked, the specs are all the same. It's just that the Pro S has the latest updated BIOS to support the latest AMD third generation Threadripper processor up to the latest model. Now without further ado, let's dive into the details of this board. Starting from the corner here is the white colored IO cover and it is the only area with RGB LED. The RGB LED can be switched off via the UEFI interface. The Prime TRX40 Pro S comes with a beautiful looking IO shield and it has ample connectivity ready for users. Over to the top side, we see a huge VRM heatsink. The 8-pin CPU power connectors are split to two sides of the board, which is an awkward design. The large heatsink does make it a little difficult to unlock RAM, especially if you have large fingers or worse, RAM with large heatsinks. Underneath the VRM heatsinks, there are 16 TDA21462 60M power stages. With the ASP1405 controller, it makes it a dual 8-phase VRM design, which is still solid and plenty to handle Threadripper processors. Just below the PCIe lane lies the location for M.2 drives. The M.2 heatsink provided is not connected to the chipset cooler heatsink and that might pose a problem as it sits right under the graphics card, so it's bound to be absorbing some heat. The ASUS Prime TRX40 Pro S comes with many fan connectors, two at the top, one at the front, two at the bottom, and two at the rear. It also comes with a debug LED and a power button, which definitely gets plus points from me. As you can see so far, the board covers every base very well. Even the UFI interface is no slouch. Advanced users will be able to tune the system to their liking. So we come to the end of this video. The ASUS Prime TRX40 Pro S is certainly the board to go to if you want to keep the cost low. It works as good as other TRX40 boards. It has all the features that you need and it looks great in white and a bit of a silver touch to it. Overall, great stuff from ASUS. Go back from me. That's all for this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you do so. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.